True fans live for their team. For those true U of A fans, there is Hughes Federal Credit Union. Show your U of A spirit and put technology and convenience at your fingertips. Hughes Federal Credit Union. Smart choice. Welcome to the Greg Hansen Show, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley here with Greg Hansen. Greg, Arizona's football season is over. The rest of the Pac-12 finishes play on Saturday. It's time to take a little bit of a look back as to who we think are the Pac-12 players and coaches of the year. If you were casting a ballot today, who would it be? Michael Leach, coach of the year. Yeah. Wouldn't even, there's no second place. Right. You think? No. No. I looked up at their record the other day. I was stunned. I, they were, in my mind, two losses more than they really are. And really, if you look at the games they've lost, with the exception of Portland State, not a bad one in the bunch, I don't think. They had Stanford beat to the last three seconds. Yeah. Yeah. If they had won that game, they could be going to the playoffs. I know. Mike, Mike Leach. <laughs> and he was written off coming yeah. into the season, wasn't he? Well, and it's funny about Mike Leach. He can't win for losing either. I mean, the big story this week isn't the fact yeah. that they're going to be favored heading into an Apple Cup game against Washington, that they're on the cusp of their best season in a decade. It's Mike Leach's injury report stuff. Yeah. And unfortunately, I think that's what you get with Mike Leach is that stuff sometimes takes over um, and maybe overshadows the fact that they're having a pretty great year. Yeah, he, he's, uh, you know, he had those 10 terrific seasons at Texas Tech. Now you see why. Right. I mean, he's... He's a dynamic coach. Absolutely. And anybody who tells you that schemes don't matter, schemes, oh, oh. in oh my, do they matter. Boy, they beat Arizona twice at home. Yeah. And this is a Wazoo team that, I mean, looking at them on the field, looks like a Mountain West team, I think. Yeah. They don't have a guy who scares you physically at all. River Craycroft, how about that guy? River Craycroft. He's going to end up playing for the New England Patriots and catching 80 <laughs> passes a year because he gets open. He gets open. You're right. You're right. River Craycroft, my favorite Tucson intersection yeah, and uh, Pac-12 receiver. Uh, looking at player of the year, the, the, to me, it's in my opinion, it's a no-brainer, but I'm curious who you like. Hey, the guy's from Logan, Utah, Luke Falk. Luke how, Falk. How can you not vote for him? I, I can tell you why. Because there's a guy named Christian McCaffrey who's going to win the Heisman <laughs> Trophy. Christian McCaffrey is, David Shaw said something great on the conference call earlier this week. He said, I'm not the guy making the Reggie Bush comparisons. Yeah, I heard that. But every guy is. Everybody else is. And if this guy is just, if he's Reggie Bush, college Reggie Bush, he's <laughs> the best player they've ever had. I'm sorry. He's the best player they've had in 20 years. My favorite pack. 12 player personally in the last 10 years was Toby Gerhardt. Yep. He was dynamite. Yeah. McCaffrey's just as good or better. Just as good or better. And what makes a great player, I think, is you know what they're going to do and you still can't stop right. them. Toby Gerhardt, you knew he was getting the ball on first and second down and sometimes even on third down. With McCaffrey, you know, okay, don't kick it to him. <laughs> and he returns at 98 yards for a touchdown. You know, stack the box when he lines up at running back and he still torches you. He's a He's an incredible player, and I hate to say it, he doesn't look the part, yeah. he's small, he's comparatively slow, but he is a very, very good player, and he'll get my Heisman Trophy vote. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably vote for him for the Heisman, but I hope Luke Falk wins Pac-12 Player of the Year. Yeah. Because he's overcome more. Yes. He's overcome more in the last two weeks. Yeah. He's been knocked out of their last two games. If they win the Apple Cup in Seattle, I mean, I'm voting for him, yeah. if he plays. What makes him different from your typical system quarterback. How's he any different from Nick Foles? That's a real good question. He's accurate. He's completing 73% of his passes. Yeah, that's incredible. And, and he throws long balls too. Yeah. They just are dump offs. Yeah. Um, although there are a lot of dump offs. There are some dump offs. But how about defensive player of the year? Oh man, can you come up with one? Blake Martinez. Blake Martinez. I think that that's got to be He leads it. the league in tackles by about 10 per game, mm -hmm. by about 10. Mm -hmm. But he hasn't been the Pac-12 defensive player of the week. That's crazy. That's crazy. But I still think if, if Stanford wins this week, mm -hmm. I, I think he'll get it. Yeah, I, I agree. I think UCLA has been so hit by injuries. USC has really not been good yeah, defensively. Nobody. I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe this speaks to the fact that there's not a team in this league outside of Stanford who plays anything resembling defense. The, the number two guy is going to be Gianni Paul from Utah. Right. But I just think Martinez is just, I mean, he's there. He's there. He's there, and he'll play on Sundays, I think. I hope so. That, that, what a good story he is. Absolutely. What a great story. All of them are very, very good picks. We're going to continue this McCaffrey versus Falk argument off air because I think it's fascinating. All right. Falk's incre I mean, I, Falk is incredible. 
McCaffrey's pretty darn good too. But only one of them played for, on my brother's high school baseball team. Well, only one of them played on your brother's high school baseball team. That is absolutely true. Well, that'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. For Greg Hansen, would you want to play for Mike Leach? I'd like to be around him to see what it's like day to day. Yes. I'd want to cover Mike Leach. I don't think I'd want to play for yeah, Mike Leach. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time. True fans live for their team. They buy the gear. They order the tickets. They pay for the seats and the experiences. For those true U of A fans, thankfully, there is Hughes Federal Credit Union, offering the latest payment choices such as U of A debit cards, paying online, paying a friend with pop money, or using Apple Pay with your mobile phone. Show your U of A spirit and put technology and convenience at your fingertips. Hughes Federal Credit Union, smart choice.